Okay. Raptors in the top, really? Crazy stuff. Repeat as well? Holy fuck, they're committed. I just don't experience range here, otherwise I will die. Wow! Impressive stuff, really, this gank. I needed to get experience so I could double eat here. Wow! And then they run into the river and fight? What is going on, guys? Are we a little bit trolling? We're doing a little bit of trolling, no? Raptors into top gank like that? Into, like, re-gank? Into just, like, FF? Crazy stuff. Holy moly, I'm, I'm dizzy. What did I just witness? Nice spacing. But I'm denying him some uh, experience here, which is why this was a good trade. Plus, I might lure Evelyn to come waste some time again on my lane, so that's good too. I'm no ward now, now I can't fight anymore, because now she can be level 3 and looking for a gank, so now I need to be careful. This is my last E. Forward. Like, unprovoked E, as in, like, I'm not re reacting to something. Spend my money and recall here. Well, Kazanta could also base here, so honestly, staying is not bad, because Evelyn shouldn't be ever here. And 1v1, I can stay. Also, there's a good chance he bases and spends money, because obviously he died and didn't spend any money. So in this case, I can fast push. And whilst I don't deny him that much, it allows me to get a better recall off here. So I get to spend, uh, instead of a long sword plus ruby crystal, I get a pickaxe instead, which is quite nice. I also deny him 3 CS anyway, so that's quite nice. Actually, this game, I will go double longsword here and a refillable because I'm going for Black Lever Rush. I'm, I'm trying Black Lever Rush into Cassante and see how good it feels. They're relieving mid. Makes sense. This seems like a pretty solid game, though, all things considered. I'm very far ahead top because of all the shenanigans they pulled and experience. Uh, and generally, we're just having a good time right now. Bit of a blunder by Syndra there, using her E to farm. She should have held it to make sure Pike can't repeat. But uh, it's all good. Make sure he loses some experience there as well. Make sure he can't lane, you know? Keep hard trading with him. I have pickaxes, a cloth armor, he can't match me. Make him suffer. Then I'm two melee creeps worth of XP. Now I'll look to crash on the next wave. So I can see how I slow push this cannon wave, and the next wave is here already. That means I can stack it into the next wave, set up a little slow push and fish for a dive here. Slash just obviously having a good time. If he bases here, I'll take plates. If he doesn't, maybe I can chunk him into a tower dive. We'll see. Quick chunk. And we'll do it again when we have uh, our cooldowns back. Just make him sweat, you know? Obviously, we don't need a burger flip into the tower, so let's be mindful of that. Hit him with an EQ there. I don't think I can dive him 1v1 though. The champ's hard to dive. Maybe. We'll fish for some tower damage here. Make it hard for him to see us, I guess. That's what we can do though. 
I'm level 7. It's hard for you to gank this, in my opinion, unless you hit 6, which she shouldn't, because she wasted a lot of time early game. So I'm just gonna crash this wave, and then I'll recall, I think. Spend my gold. Let the wave bounce. He hit 6 on this wave. I mean, I, I noticed that the plates are really low, so I kind of want to grab this plate here. Pike is just running mid, and my karma is just letting it happen, kind of. It's a bit weird. Like, I'm a bit more keen on matching roams here. Could play my jungle much easier. But I could also compensate, honestly, by roaming myself. So again, I'm just gonna jail him and let the minions do the work here in terms of creating an advantage. I don't need to do anything here. Already two plates. Very nice. Just deny him CS slowly, but surely. I'm gonna move here. This is illegal, what I'm seeing. Nice play by her. Never mind, I'm just gonna go back top. I, I won't make it. Jace is out. I didn't realize he was coming. Even if he does that, I don't have to flash if I'm 1v1. Uh, I just flashed because I don't want to get charmed into the CC chain there underneath the tower. If I'm 1v1, I don't have to flash because he was stunned as well, but I panicked because uh, Eve, Eve charm was on my head. I would have to burn flash anyway, so I might as well just press it and make sure I don't get uh, pulled in and die. Better safe than sorry, basically. I still got a lot of CS advantage, like 30 CS advantage plus two plates. It's not bad against Cassante. It's a good squeeze. My thoughts on Lowey at the moment? I think Lowey is just a good lane bully. That's my thoughts. Good lane bully. Play here if you enjoy lane bully. Dante encountered with ult. Pretty good, honestly. I mean, honestly, I'm not sure. I, I looked at it and they're running away. It looks like it's just a one for one. Sport for sport and we're done, no? Nope. I was wrong. Yeah, against Cassante, I, I prefer to start proxying after I get my advantage early game. Once he gets items, it's impossible to do anything, really. How do you want me to dive this? Like, you think enemy mid jungle is AFK or what? Like, you know, like, I'm not diving not because I think it's funny. I'm, I'm not diving because I'm worried about people collapsing on us. Maybe I could have gone ham there. She has in ult still. I could have eat forward. I didn't know if Eve used ult. I mean, they're spamping her R, so I'm guessing the spamping R means she has no R. But I hesitated because I wasn't sure. I didn't want to take the risk. I don't use TP. I want to save my TP to influence the game here. If I TP right now, I'll get about... Like, what do I get? All right, let's count. This is 3 CS that I would get, and then let's see how much I lose if I just walk, right? So when, you, when you're using TP, you should be actively looking at this, yeah? How much have I lost? Zero. Literally. One, two, three. Nine, right? Six on the wave. I lost. One CS. Is your teleport worth more or less than one CS? I thought so. Right? That is how you use TP, guys. Like, you think about it. TP is here, it's a bit risky, but... I do one-shot the wave and then kite, so it's like, okay, I don't think she one-shots me yet, 1v1. Like, Cassante needs to help her. I'm 
I'm gonna walk here. We're collapsing slowly. I don't think I TP. It's a... Uh, oh my god. Maybe I needed to TP because we kind of griefed all our spells. Nice bait, though. I'm gonna queue past the wave here. I want some... I want to get paid as well, you know? I moved all the way. I'd like to get paid. I'm gonna be going all the way to the top lane here. Catch the wave defensively. Don't want to give up any CS after a roam mid. Nice and easy. Again, pushing an advantage against Cassante is, in my opinion, kind of hard to do. So instead of, like... racking your brain over how to do that i prefer to just proxy waves i take my advantage early game when it's easy and it's like pretty free and then i stop trying i just start proxying and move and make everyone else feel my presence i've realized this again over the course of uh the games i've played here in korea this is the way to go and then here if you can make him tp the lane and shit this is really good for the game like what he's doing is really bad because he's not he's not He's not compensating at all for the fact that I'm about to just TP bot. I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want everywhere. Like, this team's playing 4v5, and he basically, with that TP, says, I don't care. My team will figure it out. Him TPing on that wave there, it's it's the same thing. Like, if he doesn't TP, how much does he lose, right? And is that is his TP worth more or less than what he loses? Same thing here. Like, do I care if this guy takes a plate here? I don't give a shit. He can take two plates. I don't care. I lose three CS. I don't care. My TP is worth so much more than that, because it stops the enemy team from clawing back in this game. Good thing he TP'd the lane, right? Just to get solo boloed and murdered. Pointless, this TP. He denied me one plate, maybe. Now he has no TP to help his team after dying as well, so it's just miserable for him the entire game now. Because he has no way of helping the team without bleeding CS, because I will always push first and then move. Jay's TP, so I have much TP here. Well played. Nice. I TP to match the TP, you see what I mean? Where's Cassante? Absolutely nowhere, and I don't care because I know that he can't be here because he wastes his TP doing stupid shit. I will cancel my recall here to make sure I cover for thingy. Alright, nice. I'm just making sure. I, I will recall after Ezreal because I have ulti soon. So I, they can never. Like, Eve can't surprise me. He can only surprise Ezreal. So if she jumps me here, I have ult and I'll end her. You see what I mean? We're playing top lane and you play like this. Of course, you're, you're, your role is useless. You have no impact. You lose lane. And then you don't use your TP to help your team, right? You're just not illegal. Not legal. One must save his tools to help his team when trying to play the game as a top laner. You can't just be TPing for, like, wherever CS he TP'd for, you know? It's just not good. Can't do that. I think mean plunge the game for free. And actually, it's a fun fact, but I think this is what, like... A lot of the top laners came to realize when I was TPing bot lane in early games. Back back in my heyday. I realized that there's only one top laner that really learned that lesson though, and it was Wonder. It was the only person that contested me on it and stopped me from doing it. Like he made it he made it he would either match me or like he would make it really tough for me, you know? But uh There were not many. Anyone coming, or am I not killing this guy? I'd be sad if I don't kill him, but he's kind of fast. Wow, he's actually getting out? That's kind of sad. Damn. He's just out, I think. Maybe not, actually. We'll see. I have double E here, so maybe he's not. Damn, I didn't have vision on him. I couldn't input buffer my stun. Oh, well. Doesn't mean I, it means I don't kill him. Wait, why is he trying to kill me now? That's why, he knew something I didn't. Fuck! Damn, dude, like, I was hoping someone would collapse on, on him, because obviously, like, he's a pre-kill, but there was no one there, and I had no flash, no nothing. That kind of sucks. Oh well, it is what it is. Got a slash at least. Could I have comboed better? Maybe. I'd have to rewatch.
Although, nah, that guy AFK is in his lane, bro. Two cleavers based. True, I need to buy a pickaxe. Mm, bit AFK here. And the brain. Put away the lane bush. I did I did I did wait in this bush. He face checked me and then I hit him and he just tanked me. Guys of cringe talking shit. What do you mean? Like you wanna open the vaults, bro? And like what do you mean talking shit? I'm speaking facts, there's a difference. There's a difference between speaking from experience and be being a spectator. Not exactly talking shit, dude. I'm speaking facts. It's right there in the material. Almost no top laners would match my TP plays. And this is not a surprise to anyone, by the way. And they wouldn't really try to set up their own either. They would just sit in their lane and suffer. Well, they would, they would make me suffer. And then their team would suffer. And then eventually I would have a good time. Forgot the Mark's Q? Nope, I didn't. I actually put one too many points in it. I didn't want to put full points in it. Nice job. Wait, we're getting murdered? What the fuck happened, guys? Let's play. I have a lot of damage here, so I have to back up. Honestly, it's probably a Star Axe game, not a Shoujin game. When you're playing as like really high damage champs, like full damage comp, like damage champ, damage, damage, uh, I mean, this tank, but he's like whatever. He's also actually a damage champ because of his ult. Damage champ, like lots of burst on the enemy team. I think it's actually better usually to go uh, thingy instead. Oh, but it is what it is. We're here now. Basically, W is max, like three points Q into W max. It's just really good because every point in W is worth more than every point in Q. And if you use, like, if you wave clear with E anyway, E and Q, you one shot the waves anyway. You don't need, you don't need the points in Q to one shot the waves. Look, this is what point in Q gives: thirty damage per rank. And the second thing is maximum healing, and the first thing is minimum healing on champions. So really, it's kind of fucking whatever. It really isn't that impressive for every point you put in it. Whereas the other skills, E and uh, W, are much more impressive. Uh, per point. That said, obviously, early game. Early game, it is much better uh, to put points in the other skill. I mean, I'm just killing people here. I don't know. We, we kind of got Baron stolen. Not sure what I'm supposed to do about that. Anyone here? No one here? No one here. Yeah, a bit awkward that we 50 50 against Devlin, though. I was just fighting the Cassante. I feel like we. Like, I don't think that's my fault. I feel like Cassante should. Like, I feel like we should just pull off the Baron and kill the Cassante with me. I'm not sure why we are doing the Baron like that. It's a bit awkward. If you ask me. But maybe I can also do something different and that, that would be better, you know? I'm not sure. Broken Blade, what do I think about him? It was the same thing. I mean, you know, like, I don't know. Like, my opinion is, I don't think he was that good in 2020 and 2021 spring when I played. He was not bad. If he got way better since then, I'm happy for him. But I can't judge him now because it's been two years since I played against him. I cannot speak about people I didn't play against, uh, you know, enough. I played two, like, I played the best of five against him and again in Schalke, and I don't think he was bad. At 2020 Worlds, I think he was pretty bad. I think he was completely lost in the sauce. That was the Volley Bear versus Camille games. And like, yeah, I mean... 
if you're gonna pick a matchup and get solo killed, then pick it again, and then I'm still just chilling, then a bit weird, right? But I don't think he was bad. Uh, in 2021, and then I'm guessing he got better, right? Because right now he's the best top in Europe. Alfari? Alfari is like, I would lose lane and I knew I would win the game anyway. I knew for a fact that I would just have to run bot and I would automatically win. He would not follow me no matter what. He would keep trying to push lane advantages and I would just win no matter what. Only if we couldn't win the game 4v5 bottom side is when I would lose to him. Oh, nice flash by Pike. Damn, I, I tried to whip into Q, but I didn't have my whip up, so I shouldn't have done that. That's what I, that was my opinion on Alfari. It was rare that I couldn't just leave lane and win anyway against Alfari. But he was really good individually. Really good individually. Of course, of course, he was really good 1v1. But that's what I, like, that's, I knew that. So I would just take the L 1v1. I would, like, I would go out of my way not to TP back to lane in situations I would all, normally always TP back to lane. Because I knew... That he would let me TP somewhere else, and he would not carry the game in the end of the day. Like, there was only one top laner I felt really bad about leaving lane and losing a lot of plates, and it was Wonder. Like, whenever I left lane and I lost a lot of gold, I was like... This might be a problem. Everyone else, I don't think they were that good 5v5. I think they're kind of oink. Yeah, maybe some of them are better, some are worse. Nowadays, it's a different topic, you know, like, I can't compare myself to, you know, the game from 2020 and 2021 spring, you know, like, it's it's been two and a half years now. How can I compare myself to the people that were playing back then? It's a completely different game. Everything has changed. Literally, everything has changed. Jace has no flush. I don't know about Lucian. I don't know if he has no flush. I think he might have no flush. I was fishing for a flash W here on someone. Lots of vision in this lane though. Damn, I was hoping Sunday would ult me there actually, because I knew I was dead, but I was thinking me for Lucian's really worth, because now my team should be able to, like, Lucian's like the biggest threat, I think. Me Eve is a threat, but she has no ult right now, I think. Maybe she has it up already, I don't know. But I was thinking, like, Eve is definitely, like, a, like Eve is a big threat, but not much I can do about that. Uh, with, like, when she has no ult. Damn, actually, Jace is also quite strong, it seems. I guess me flashing on Lucian 1 for 1 is not worth, I'm not sure. I'll go uh, stopwatch though, so I can... Uh, I can go GA. I think it will be better this game. Did you teach Adam this tech? Of course not. I don't talk to Adam. Why would I teach him this tech? If he wants to learn the tech, he can just watch my stream, right? Like, I'm not really on good terms. Like, I don't think I'm on bad terms with him, but I'm not on particularly good terms with him either. Like, you know, Finn? Yeah, I think he's completely oink. Not a bad player in lane, but laning is not hard, guys. Like, laning is the easiest part of League of Legends. Yo, the difference, like, let me ask you this much. Uh, the difference between an amateur player and an LCS player, you really think it's in laning phase? It's the smallest difference. It's where the smallest difference exists. Lane versus... The rest of the game. Decision making, you know, champion pick, roam timer, everything. Understanding of the macro, understanding of what your responsibility is in the game. All of these factors are so much harder than laning phase. Oh, he just, did we just let him walk away from me? He's got fucking crocked, man. That was kind of what I expected to happen last time I fought like this, but this time it worked out much better. I just wanted to be the first target and we pile on him, but I guess we were more in, in, in sync there because we had multiple people coming. Alright, so that's a kill. We end here. 
Why does this mean you're not getting aggroed by this tower? That's so weird. Normally that's supposed to happen, no? Am I crazy? Normally it's like both towers get aggroed. Very nice. Looked a bit awkward for a bit, but for a time, but uh, worked out. This Chachi, I didn't play against him enough. He was, like, I, I, you know, like he was retired, no, when I played. I don't know who Donner, everyone played pretty decent. Lena is not here with me in Korea. It is just me and Mephisto for now, but we'll see. Maybe that changes. Iceborne on Pantheon, when it's viable. I mean, if you go Cleaver into that, that's like fine, right? You can go Cleaver, Shoujin as your damage options, and then buy uh, Iceborne Gauntlet, right? I think it's okay. It's not something I would do, though, personally. Who's Mephisto? It's my homie. Best known for... I don't mean to be rude, but I guess... Coaching on Vitality and having... Not the best results. <laughs> J4 is really that pick or ban? Uh, I think he's up there for sure. Um, I definitely think that like... If the meta is like Orianna is really good... Immediately, like, if mid lane meta is Orianna Syndra, which is what people are telling me, at least. Um, like all good mid laners I've spoke to is always, like, they say, like, Orianna's the best, and then obviously you will pick shit that's good into Orianna, or, like, has a good time, right? I don't think Mephisto was the was at fault for those rosters. Like, I, I've worked with him for a very long time. 